Hey guys, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mir Fanboy, and as you can see, I have a lot of cell phones to show you guys today. Today, I want to show you all the phones that I got in my phone collection video. So, let's get started. And I do have a couple of batteries and uh, some of the SIM cards for phones that require them. So, let's put them here. Let's start the video. Uh, let's start with the phone that has the antenna. Here we have an Anyco um, Chinese Samsung SGX S600 Chrome. Um, um, this one it used to work, but it doesn't anymore. I don't know why. Next, we have a, a new T Star Confirm. I couldn't find any model number on this one. It is with CD phone, which is actually in Vietnam is one of the first earlier CDMA carriers, which is interesting. Um, I don't have a battery. This one is on use uh, in AC. This one use AC as a charger charging port. So yeah, that's it. And I'm not I'm not sure when this would release. So here we have one of the phone I got in a lot recently. This is the Nokia Motorola T191. I think it is. The phone's in kind of bad condition. No battery, no charger, so I can't test it. Next is a kind of a recent find. This is an LG LG SD2030. It is with S phone. It is actually the oldest LG device I have in my collection. Um, this one, I don't know it worked. The battery, this one had a battery, but I tried charging it and nothing happened. So I guess the battery, this one's bad. And I don't have a charger for this one. Surprisingly, this one actually used the same charger as uh, Samsung device, so I might be able to charge that. Now to the black and white device without a back, without an antenna. Starting out, we have a Nokia 6210. This one doesn't work. I tried everything, but nothing happened, so yeah. Here we have a Nokia 3310, the legendary brick phone. I actually got this one for fairly cheap, I think about 40,000 Vietnam down. Whereas some of the reason why I got um, from the flea market, they are all worth 100,000 Vietnam down or more. But yeah, I got this one for pretty cheap. It does work actually, surprisingly. But it doesn't save, it isn't stable, and I don't have a battery for this one. I need to get it back for that. There we have a Nokia 8210. This is unlock. And this one turned on, but uh, but I but that but mm, like most of the Nokia with the BLD battery, um, it always try to restart the phones, phone with that battery installed and the SIM card installed. So not much to be shown. It does hold a charge. Battery does hold a charge with this one as well. Actually, I got this one from flea market as well. A couple of these devices are from flea market, but those some of them are family members. And some of them I got from Facebook, so I didn't put in SIM card on purpose because that thing had a problem when a SIM card is inserted. This is a Nokia 1110i. This is with this doesn't have any carrier branding, so let's have. Uh, I think this battery is a dead one. Yeah, that is a dead battery. So we're going to use. This fan right here. And I ran out of working 4C battery recently, and, and um, I think one of the working room batteries in this one, this is also almost empty. This one worked, but it's loose, and I think this one has run out of battery. Slow battery, but who cares? Uh, a couple of these one I have, we have a SIM card installed because I don't want to make a video longer. Some phone will do well, some phone don't. Here is the one I got from a family member. This is a, um, let's see what Nokia it is. It had a game SIM card on it. It's 1202. Um, this one take PL4C, but I don't have any working one at the moment, so. The 
this one has a broken backlight so it doesn't show the backlight it is not with cellular one I just put it out here hmm and yeah that's it that's oh there is the the phone next and um, actually uh this one should be the here but i forgot yeah this is a nokia 1200 this thing is literally the cheapest phone i could get in a flea market i paid two with one single dollar for this one and one surprising thing this is actually a perfectly working device Now the only problem with this one I've seen is that uh, yeah this battery kind of loose. The only problem I've seen on uh, this one is that the battery no 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 the Amia um the Amia tag doesn't match with the phone. But who cares about that really? At least this one came with a um, a Vietnam Vietnam mobile uh, SIM card. Next, we have the phone I have that is very common in many of the Southeast Asian countries. This is a um, Nokia Nokia twelve eighty, and I want to put a battery in this one. Hmm, it's kind of blue lips. Doesn't know. Always took that. Oh, there we go. This also has some very life on this one. And this one, these one are actually common in Vietnam. A very common device. Our next phone, I have three more black and white device to show. Here we have another LG CDMA device. This antenna is actually built in, so it's kind of old. LG SD2130. This is with S phone. I got this one recently and it is a working device actually. Well, because the battery is on the edge holder charge, but not that one. I use the multi for I use a universal charger for this one. I think the batteries are about the dead of this one. Yeah, battery is dead. It's saying battery powering up, low battery powering up. And next one we have is the phone I got from a family member. This is a Siemens C45. I couldn't find anything about this one, but it does turn on. I don't have a battery for that one. I couldn't really turn that on. Here's the Moro W, come on focus, 170. This is with HD Mobile, and I do not have a HD Mobile card, so. I couldn't really use this one, but it does turn on. It's kind of it's kind of take time to turn on on this one. I don't have a uh, I don't have really I don't have a. Uh, uh, for this one but the ui is essentially identical to another Motorola, which i will show and that thing will have color screens now we are moving on to the kind of like color devices oh, there's one other than that that thing that thing in the end uh, is uh, monochrome but we'll get into that later this is the nokia 1208 this is a phone i kind of wanted for quite a while I paid um, twice as much as this one and two dollars of this one. I paid this one for two dollars, and I think the SIM card reader is kind of busted at this one. Um, uh, some of the Nokia phone are unhappy with um, merge with kind of and with, with these some of these um SIM card that you can insert or not. Some of the Nokia are unhappy with that. I might use this one on all the phones. But for now, let's use this generic Vettel card. This one is biggest blown, so nothing. So this one had a bad speaker, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna use this card for one more other phone and I'm gonna try. Here we have a Nokia, this one I got from family member, this is a 6061, 1661, and this one, uh, I should mention that I don't have any working 4C battery at the moment, so I'm using 5C to turn power on most of these devices, so I apologize for that. There we go. It's not a sprint PC, I put that in. Uh, let's see, what's the next device? Next device is the Nokia X1, X101. This is unlocked to all carrier. As with most Nokia. Um, this one is on Viettel. This one's on Viettel because I put all the SIM card. It will suggest yes, there will be no service available. I don't know why, but there's. Let's see. Uh, does this have this card? No. Let's put a um, this one in. This one um, is BL5J battery. Make it a little bit um, darker for you guys to see. Hmm. Maybe this one is actually isn't happy with the uh, multiple SIM card. In. Some of the Nokia phone will take the we will, will take the RUM card, but this is not the one that take them. So it will just stuck with the Nokia logo. Looks like the multi card thing. The universal one doesn't seem to work. So yeah. I will figure out what we'll, we'll to do with that one later on. Next, we have a Nokia 1800. This is ooh, this one had a card. Had a card. Mm. It's actually in a free, fairly nice condition. It came with a battery, but that the battery doesn't hold a charge for some reason. Um, we uh, we have two more basic Nokia before we move on to the S40 and the S60 device. This is a Nokia, let's just say model number, it's a Nokia 105. This is working. I got this one on flea market. I think I paid a little bit less for this one. Yeah, I haven't really cleaned this one much, but it works, at least. Some of these will have the car, some of them won. Um, next phone we have is, this is actually a very special device. This is actually my first cell phone. It's a Microsoft Mobile 106, also on the Nokia 106. I actually recently found the, the ultra coffee this one is uh, actually Viettel. I switched to Vina phone because my family have been using Vina phone and they are great service. Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, I might, ha might have to figure out what the uh, Deal with this one, but it, it does work, it doesn't have the passcode on anything. I might have to figure out what to do with this one. One because I think the sim card, which I think is, I don't know why this one doesn't want to release the sim card. Yeah, I have to pause the video a bit and we'll be right back. All right, got the card to work. I mean, this is uh, actually the last Nokia to use this 
have a tone. I think uh, the 107 Duo Sim was a um, sla was just this one except in is Duo Sim and yeah. I will use this card for a couple of other phones actually because I didn't have many SIM cards. I can just pull a couple of SIM cards and just leave them there, wherever. Now we're moving on to the S40 device. I will have a couple of S60 coming up, but let's start with the S40 first. This is the oldest S40 device I have, the Nokia 6610. This one's break, say contact service. This is a Nokia 6100, it's basically the same as this one except it used BL5C battery. And this one worked, but the, bar but the battery contact is kind of loose on this one, so there's no way to turn on, really. Yeah, we go. But I got this one for free, really cheap, I think $2. Yeah, I had a Joshi. Um, so the previous owner actually had a Joshi um, wallpaper on this one, which is kind of cool, but yeah. Here's the one I also got for a um, flea market. This is a Nokia 3120. This is with Optus. This is the only um, Australian device I have in my collection. I think one of the devices is my, it's on Telstra, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the speaker is kind of broken, this one. Yes, Optus. It actually had Vietnamese for some reason. And the reason I'm this, I say it's on Optus because I, this one is locked to Optus and I couldn't e really use that. Next, um, let's see. Um, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to put this berry in and it's call it a day. Next, we have an Nokia. Um, it's 3220B. This is with um, Singular. Um, let's see, uh, one of the f f five, four, five B batteries in this one. I will come back with that one later. Then, but this one, it has singular branding, but it is all in Vietnamese and is the film one is actually like, oh, it's not in the same. Didn't know about that. All right, looks like uh, it will work. The card works, this one. Yes, kind of infinity key. This last because this one's broken, so I can fix that. <clears throat> and it's kind of laggy. There we go. It's actually a uh, kind of cool because it has singular branding, but. I couldn't find any single branding inside the phone. Next is Nokia 7260. This is unlock. Oh, the Nokia unlock actually, by the way. Let's see. Um, when I first got it, the SIM card reader doesn't work. And um, when it got card work, I found another problem with this one. Yeah, once again, it's speaker is broken. Loud speaker. Let's see the front speaker is working. And the front speaker is broken. Um, the keyboard doesn't respawn. Yeah, the keyboard doesn't respawn on this one. So. Yeah, the joystick is really stiff on this one. This is the reason, that is the reason why I didn't bother putting a card on this one despite being a working device. But it is kind of cool because I, this one can go for much more expensive. Um, here is a Nokia 6020, yeah 6020. I got this one from trade with a friend I no longer play with. This time the speaker does work this one. This time the speaker work. 
Yeah, all those cards I have are unregistered, register, with the exception of the card on, let's see what's from, probably this one. Because that card, we use that card actually on our trip to Europe. I have three Nokia 6030, uh, 6030. And we'll turn on this two right here. This one has a bad backlight. Let's see, anyone has a SIM card? No. I will turn on one with the SIM card and one without a SIM card. So let's start with this one. This one had the kind of worst LCD, but you get the idea. Yeah, they are identical. This one had the Toho music in it, which is kind of cool. And then this one, I will put the SIM card to demonstrate that it's just it's working. Both are virtually identical, other than the string edition. Yeah. And this one is actually in really nice condition, actually. And the LCD isn't um, aligned well. It's kind of a bit smaller. I don't know why, but it's kind of weird. You see, it's kind of, it isn't aligned well. It's kind of smaller than I thought. thought. Yeah, for now, I will have to open it up and see why. But for now, it's a working device. Next on the chopping lock block, we have two Nokia 6030, 6230, I mean. These phone, uh, let's see, this one had a battery. Yeah, this battery I know work. I just stick them there for some reason. Yeah, that is a real good battery. And I will only show this one working. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not bothered putting the card in, but but the phone had a broken, had a bad LCD, bad polarizer as well. Same problem, except this one does not turn on anymore. Yeah, it doesn't turn on anymore. And I lost the bike for this one actually. <laughs> and next we have is an Nokia 6070. This is I got from a friend. Also, no longer play with him. Actually, I usually have a 6080 with with def with it with the same design. He just have a, that that guy just recently got another 6070 on T-Mobile. Yeah, T-Mobile. Yeah, T-Mobile. Yeah. Um. So yeah, not much to say with this one. I actually kind of want the more fashion 6080 one and yeah next phone is another phone in the fashion nokia device i have one more to show out of this this is 7360 it turned on but uh, but it doesn't but the screen is white Oh, this one. So I might have to uh, check if from the the thing has any flop checking the screen. But the phone does work. Though. It really seems got well. The same issue at this one. I have two Nokia twenty six twenty six. These are unlocking device and they don't require the user's SIM card, so I will turn on one of them only. The other one will, is virtually identical. I think, let's see which one had a better screen. Yeah, this one had a better, better screen. This one, the screen is kind of warping a bit, little bit, and this one is not as bad as that one.
I may need to um, sold uh, one of them because I already have one of them and they are virtually identical to each other. I got both of them them fairly long time ago. Now we move on to the newer generation S40 with the Nokia 6300 Sapphire. I'm going to use this battery right here. This is the RJ battery that came with this one. Hmm. There we go. Very low. Yeah, I put a battery and I had never touched that battery. The Bluetooth on? <laughs> yeah, I may have to shut that down. Shut that Bluetooth down. Why are you shutting the, the phone down? There we go. Oh. Looks like the battery, this one's dead. Yeah, but the phone does work actually. Next, we have the only Nokia CDMA device. This is a Nokia 15 oh, let's see, 080s. 080. 1508, yeah, we go. This one will check any RUI main card, so I have this EVN card laying around. The other two S1 cards are in their respective S1 device. Did I get a backlight on this one? Because the backlight this one used to work. Yeah, I may have killed the backlight on this one. I don't know why, but I think that I killed the background on this one. Or maybe just battery. Maybe all the battery will... There we go. This is just this battery. Hmm. Yeah. Not much to say about this one other than it's just a CMA device and there's nothing that special about this one. I will use this card for a couple of the other devices. Now the 23500C, I will turn on this one. This one has a bad LCD. I'm not sure this battery has. Then the last speaker is broken, so I cannot um, do anything with that. But I'm probably going to have to swap this one. This one has a good speaker. This is an Nokia 2600C, I think. Yeah, this one I have, I have a BL54B battery right here. It had a bad LCD, as you can see. This because it doesn't work. This was this speaker to work. But the phone had a bad LCD, so I couldn't do anything really. But at least it's some some of the pixels to show. This is a uh, L8 Star BM10. Yeah, I kind of take a break on the Nokia phone for a while. That's kind of annoying. Um, moving on to the Nokia device, I have Vimo S40 device and Vimo S60 device. 
Let's start with the Nokia 1680C. I paid $42 for this one. Let's Next phone um, will be um, the Nokia 2700C, 2700C. This one is virtually identical to the C201, which I will show next, later on. And this is a C1, Nokia C1. The battery worked, but I had to took it out because it was kind of bloated, so. It came with the SD card as well. Let's see, where is it? That, it actually came with a micro SD card. And then we have an Nokia C2, which actually literally a uh, 2730C, except a bit newer and had a different firmware. A little bit different only. It's actually a 3G device actually. Um, and the last uh, of the S40 device, we have a Nokia, oh no, Nokia actually. 206. This one use BL, oh, and I see which battery is. I had a battery on this one because I've been testing this one. For you. That's weird, it's only vibrate. Got that working. There was only one line on this, this screen, but um, there is the second one. This one's quite quite um, more modern Nokia device. In fact, was actually used quite until quite recently. I'm going to use uh, that battery for one um, media tech device later on. So yeah. Well, now we are moving on to the, to the S60 device. We have a Nokia prototype 60. Um, let's see, uh, let's put it back, back on this one. Nokia 6680 prototype, and it is working. I put a battery in. Turn it on. I actually want to turn to this Nokia because these Nokia take a lot kind of quite a while to turn on. Here is the uh, Ansem 82. That thing is the first device I got in the flea market, and this is one of the more recent, fi recent find.
But I think this one's kind of failing. This is a Nokia EM51. I got this one for about fifty thousand Vietnam down. I don't have a battery for this one, so I have to resort in using one of these. See, both of them works fine. There we go. And I want to shut these phone down. I shut this one first, actually. I don't have a battery for this one. I'm looking for one actually. Next, we have a Nokia N79. Now, this one I think it had problems. Yeah, this one had problems. Uh, it's actually currently boot looping for some reason. I don't know why. Took the battery out, and we'll use another couple of the. More Nokia and a couple of the media tech device. Yeah, someone's on the doorbell. Looks like someone's shipping, so oh, I have to pause the video. But you can see this one boot loops. Here's the Nokia 5320D, it is an express music device. Let's see there. Yeah. See? That all it did. That's all the phone did. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have a couple of devices that use uh, this battery. We'll move on to that later. See, there's another battery that use that some of these phones use. Yeah, probably because it's there's only one battery that you, these two battery that I need to use. Uh, we have re we are basically done with the Nokia dumb phones, the Nokia bar phone for now. Now we move on to the other brands. Starting with Samsung, we have a Samsung S C H um S one. S309. This is a CDMA device where you could put any um, GSM card in it and it will make it to the menu. Kind of weird, but it's a kind of neat idea. I have a free. I have um, four more, three more Samsung bar phone. This one doesn't work. It's a GT E ten eighty T. This one is a. Um, let's just show you. These Samsung card phone will not will not require a card for this for this video. GT, come on, let's just say on the startup. C thirty two twelve. This one follow a kind of more modern Samsung UI. I think this is a prepaid device. It says zero service day left. And I have a couple more Samsung that use that battery, but this is the last dumb for, last bar for now. 
It is a GT E1050. I want to vibrate on start off, which is quite weird. It is not on AT&T. AT&T never released this phone. Now we're moving on to free LG bar phones. First of all, we have an LG on Movistar, but this is not actually a Movistar device. It gets apparently some, someone was inside this one and make it an, another type of device. Let me try to power on because I don't have the battery for this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the battery for this one. Got it. I don't know why, but it say please press just key for some reason. Okay. So that's quite kind of weird. I thought was thought this was one was going to be a um a an auto device. I no a um. A, a movie star device, but it isn't really. Next, we have an old LG I got from Flea Market. LG B2100. It is with a carrier in the France called Boyes. This is, this is not an only European device. You will see a couple more. Okay, um, let's see. I don't, couldn't get this battery to charge. I don't know why. Probably due to different voltage or something like that. But free. But I'm not sure why. Next. It's an LG. KP100 This is how you turn this one on Yeah, this is the way There's a pin code in this one. Ah uh, yes, I remember this one. There was a pin code of this one. Pin code on the SIM card. Yeah, we are done with the uh, LG basic phone. Now we move on to the Sony Ericsson. Now I'm not going to turn this on. Sony T630. I'm not sure if I would turn this one on. No. No. This this does work actually. I just have to. This one this one had a weird battery that I couldn't char use. This is a no Sony Ericsson. No, not a Sony Ericsson. A Chinese device K600i. This one I'm not going to turn on, but uh, I'm going to turn on without this card. But this one is Pascal lock. Does Sony battery die already? Because I remember the uh, uh, last use this battery for a couple of phones. There we go. Took a while for some reason. It, this is actually a Chinese device it's on China Telecom.
so for 40 minutes and I have, I'm not even halfway through this is a W800i Sony Ericsson I want you, I'm not going to put in the card on this one but it does work I think Yeah, it's kind of loose in this one, so um, let's see. Because I don't have the back cover with this one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we have to uh, figure around this one and we'll be right back. Got it. Sorry about that, I guess um, the camera just shut up. Next, um, Sony Ericsson J230i. This is actually on European device. That means there is no Vietnamese option, which is a shame. Because I kind of like this one. This is, and I got this one very cheap too. Next, we have a Sony Ericsson J, uh, no, W200. It already had a card, so I'm going to power this one on. It is on T Mobile, but it is actually unlocked, so you put any SIM card and it will work. to the wife just to turn on hmm no Two Sony Ericsson J one hundred I one hundred ten I. Only one of them work. The other one doesn't turn on. There we go. Can't really bypass that that without can really turn off without bypassing that. The other one that had a bad LCD that doesn't turn on at well. I have three um brick Nokia device, Moro device, a pretty basic device. This is a W two hundred. The battery this one is just I think it just pass on and it doesn't charge anymore. It just show post some light but doesn't really anymore. Why well, have to pull the battery out because it actually made it's actually kind of a bit annoying to use. Yeah, the battery is dead, but the phone does work. Here. This is the Motorola W um, W W two ten. It had a battery. No, it it doesn't have a battery. But I will put one right here to turn it on. You guys. Yeah, actually, going to show this one. This is a Motorola W three sixty. The only. Uh, Fully functional um, GSM device that Motorola device I have. I will turn it on when 
this one finished pulling up S phone There we go. Let's turn this one on. Uh, yeah, we are done with the Motorola basic phone. We do have a couple of phones to work with. And yeah, I think that is the last Motorola phone that used that battery. I don't think this one will ever turn on. Now we move on to some of the lesser known brands. Seaman, BenQ Seaman, A75. I don't have a battery for this, so I can test it. This Missway, um, Huawei Missway T210. It use, um, I don't have a, uh, it is with G phone, uh, B line G phone. I don't have a that type of card, so can't really do much with that. And yeah, just a basic um, phone. Nothing too special about that. This Viettel ZTE V602 is show widescreen, that's it. This Viettel V6216 it is a working device. It's an elderly device S3. There we go. And then we have a V6217. This is another Viettel device. Turn this on. Yeah, not much to say about that that one. All than being a, a basic generic media tech device. I'm not sure who manufactured that one. I have two, um, I actually have three mobile devices. Let's remove this one right here. This one doesn't work. Mobile M220 doesn't work. It's broken, doesn't do anything, doesn't do absolutely anything. I don't know why. This mobile Rockstar, the battery just gave out, but it does work. And the M267. Yeah, this this keyboard doesn't live up to this age. We we are almost like an hour to the video, and we still haven't gone through all the dumb phone. I will go fast the other phones, but uh, you get the idea. It actually work. Actually, let's make me the battery. Yeah, maybe the keyboard is getting problem, but I know the phone just turn on. You see that? This is an APT B five hundred silver. This only work with the BL five C battery for some reason, but I don't know why it doesn't work with any five B battery. Okay, that is a dead battery. Yeah, nothing special about that one other than being a generic MTK device. 
another generic MTK device. Free, I have three more generic MTK device. Then this is as come up basically get. This is a mobile no Mobistar B two B two twenty. This is a basically get. Yeah, here's a basic MTK device. And then we have this Avio. I got this one brand new. It's what's name we use Ashri Avio A101 it is with Vina phone. Like this, these three are Viettel device, so they are locked to Viettel. I'm not sure this battery have a charge. Yeah, there is some charge, but I will say look at it. Last because it's blown on this one. Okay. One more basic phone. Mastel Family 12. Like, that battery is there, but I know that work and yeah. It's basically never used. Now we move on to a couple of these other devices. We have flip phones. I have a lot of flip phones. We have the oldest phone in my collection, the StarTag 210. I'm not sure it worked. No, I don't have to charge over this one, so I can test it. This Nokia 2650. This one, it only turned on to the black light, and that's it. Just it doesn't really seem cost, so it's useless. Here's the reason why. This is the VK. Um, let's see. VK whoa uh, you know what? VK one one zero C. This is with S phone. It's a very early S phone device, and it's actually based on a Korean device. Here is a ZTE another S phone device. ZTE C two twenty. This one, I don't have the battery, so I can't test it. Our charger. And this one, the battery doesn't hold our her a very good charge. Pretty cool phone device to have. Yeah, that battery isn't good. Samsung HDH X460. I don't have a really good charger. Oh, have a charger for this one. Can test it. Nokia 6170. Now this one doesn't work anymore. I have two Motorola Razer. This is the V3M um, It's with Verizon. The battery is right here. It had a problem. It off, kind of make it to the unauthorized charging, and it just kind of blips. I don't know why, but it looks like this one may have been water damage. Yeah, water damage. What that water indicator is red. Then here is the golden um, razor. This one had a broken SIM card tray, so can't do anything with that. This is a um, Nokia S Nokia sixty sixty. See what is uh yeah then here is battery. This is a Nokia 6101. Uh, I'm not going to turn this one on, but it had a working. It works, but it had a bad uh, backlight. And yeah. Let's see. Do you have any other phone that used this small battery? Yeah, that's that was it. That was it. That was the last one to use. And the Nokia 6085, the flex cable is kind of messed up with this one, but it just turned on. So yeah. 
and uh, LCD is kind of inverted. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn on to see if that problem occurred with this one. No, it doesn't occur. That's great. But uh, polarizer, this one's burned. Now we have three Samsung flip phone to deal with. One, two, three, four, five. Five actually. This is the one I got recently. This is a Samsung SGH X200. Uh, Samsung battery here. See, um, yeah, I'm gonna put that card in. Here is a um, SGHX. Um, see, yeah, Samsung battery. I should say on startup. X160 is another way better screen than the X200. I actually love Samsung flip phone, and I've been collecting a couple of these. Next is basically the CDMA version of the S210 and then mom, my mom actually used X200 or X160 on X210, not sure. This one requires an S phone card or an CDMA card. This is the Samsung S169, S169. It's a CDMA device. Yeah, I put an EVN card in it because the other S1 card were in the Motorola's. Come on. For some reason, this one's kind of laggy. Yeah, this is pretty beautiful light. I think this one also had a beautiful light. A couple of these one I will rush up because the apparently I don't have much time. This is a Samsung SGSC260. The keyboard of this one is broken but it turned on. At first I thought it doesn't work but just the button just kind of loose. This one boot loops is the same old Samsung S688. It just boot loop, and I'm not going to turn it that on. This is an LG HD156 on HT Mobile. As you can see. This Moro uh, W2 um, W2. Motorola W220, this one doesn't work, it, the one of the batteries snap up, so can't do anything with that. It's the only phone from the first lot that is that doesn't do anything, so that thing will have to be sold. I want to sold a couple of these phones, I have, um, yeah. This is the, probably the most expensive phone in my collection, this is the Samsung Convoy 2. It is with Verizon and it is fully functional. Now we are moving on to slider phones. Now I have two types of slider phone. We have a basic slider and we have the keyboard sliders. Samsung SGHD410, I don't have the charge of this one, so it's unknown. Sanyo S750, this is a on orange. And I do not have a battery for this one either, so I can test it. Nokia 6111. 
pretty small device. It's brick, flexible is broken, I cannot do anything with that. Blocking, nothing happened. This is a um, Nokia. Oh, I think what type of Nokia it is. 5300. Right, put this battery in. The spine in bad condition actually work. Speakers is a bit smaller than expected. I cannot reset it, this one either. This Nokia 6288, well, the flexible is broken. That's the only thing you hit. It does turn on though. This is a reason for I got this is a um, Sony Ericsson W655 ADI. The battery that came to this one is kind of bullish, but it does hold the charge. So. I put a SIM card in, but the uh, phone does work with the SIM card, so you get the idea. Next, this is an EVN telecom of some sort. EV, this oh, this is a Ubiquam U three hundred. This is a EVN phone. This one, the battery is blow, so I cannot use it. I don't know what's going on with that, but I haven't tested that. Here's an LG K970 Shine. This one is broken, doesn't do... It only show the light on this side, and that's it. None of these is responsible, I'm guessing, flex cable. There's an auto Samsung slider. I'm not gonna put the card in this one. Samsung. Samsung SGH um, F400 Yeah, I don't have a crack battery for this one so I cannot So I have just hold, hold it against the contact and it work It is on orange I have a two more slider phone. Samsung. Here's a Samsung. Oh. I got this one actually free for really nice. Um, GT S thirty one hundred. So cellular one. Movistar F535. I will show this one. I, it doesn't work, but I don't have a battery, so I can turn and turn on right now. HTC Hero Fruit Hero 100. This brick. LG KS360 Neon. It actually worked, but the battery just quit. Uh, one plug and nothing really happened, so I'm guessing the battery is kind of bad in this one. And then I have two odd um, phones. We have an LG, what type of LG is this? SV360, it is a Korean device. It works, but I haven't, haven't tested further. Here's a Nokia 7370, the only swivel phone I have in my collection. And other than the broken speaker, it actually does work. Then we move on to the keyboard phones. 
Now these two Blackberry, I don't have a way to f test these, but they are brick. 7290 on T-Mobile, 7100 V on Vodafone. This one's in bad condition, but it kind of turned on. Well, now we have a, a couple of these though. These one actually, let's see. Um, do you have the battery in here for them? I know I have a battery for all of them. It's in here. The E63 first. Um, this work. The E71, this one turned on, but I think it's starting to have some graphical problems. This one's biggest broken actually. This one actually is starting to have some graphical problems. I don't know why, but I may have to buy a new one. And finding the working one is kind of hard. <laughs> See, do you have an iPhone? Yeah, this one will use that the that battery. Now this one I think is having some graphical problem. It's just kind of glitchy out. I don't know why. There's a couple of glitch problem with this one. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm gonna let that on. Or maybe the graphical thing just faded away. Huh. I mean, it was having some graphical problem earlier on to begin with. Let's put this one around here. Okay, um, I have Nokia C3. I just got this one quite recently. I have two Nokia X201. This one had a bad LCD. It's my dad's old phone. I got this one recently and this is working. I got for this one for a fairly cheap actually. You would be surprised that I got this one for two dollars. I mean, while we are at it, let's turn on the APTM 99 3G. This LG C100, the keyboard doesn't respond. This HTC Cha Cha 3G, I think it had a bad battery. Um, no, no. The battery is surprisingly stay charged. I have this Samsung right here. Oh, yeah, that battery just died. Samsung Star, I want a battery for it so I can turn that on. This one, the touchscreen doesn't fully respond. I don't have a battery for that one either. Let's move this LG around. See here, let's say around here because it's actually an Android device. I forgot about that. Here we have an HPT B8600, I believe it is. Here is the Nokia Asha 307. Nokia Asha 307. How are you taking it? Yeah, we're here. I think it's going to be an hour video, more than an hour video. Yeah, I got this one for very cheap because I don't know why. And then after this, I will go through the smartphone because I'm not going to turn on any of them, really. Alright, smartphone time, 
Nokia Lumia 530, this one's brick. Lumia 950, this is with AT&T, and it still have some charge in it. Yeah. iPhone 4S, this brick. iPhone 5S, I haven't charged this one yet, but it just works, my old phone. Motorola Backflip, this one does not work anymore. LG Optimus Me, the LCD is inverted, but it otherwise it turn on. This thing, I new thing, whatever this thing is, um, it's brick. Samsung Galaxy, is this called Prime or something? Strand Plus, that thing work. There's no free nail. No free nail. I mean, it's broken. This, uh, Grand Prime is missing the screen. This Mobistar Lajuna, it works, but the battery's bad. Really bad. Really bad, I mean. This thing, you stay on the Mobistar thing and that's it. That is a, um, Quizmart. Nokia, um, TA1033. Um, very dead, but it'll work. And this V Smart, I think the battery's gonna be dead. This one, yeah, the battery's dead. This one, but that works. It's run a new Android. Okay. So um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.